harvest is a very special time of year when we give thanks to God for all the good things that God has given us. It comes from a time when people used to farm all their own food and at this time of year it became very, very important to gather it all in safely before the winter storms came. So once they had gathered it in, they would have a massive celebration and then say thank you to God in the knowledge that they knew they would have food to carry them through all those hard winter months. Now today, we don't quite do things in those kind of ways. We have big farms who farm the food for us and we go to supermarkets and buy our own food. But harvest remains a really important time of year because it reminds us of the importance of being thankful, of saying thankful to God for all the good things we have, for food and for our families and for our friends and for lots of other good things that we have. So harvest is a time when we remember each year to be particularly thankful. Now, in a moment, Mr Daggett is going to teach us a particular harvest hymn, Come Ye Thankful People Come, and it's all about being thankful, and being thankful to God for the good things that are gathered in and kept safe for us as we face the next few months. We're going to learn the harvest hymn, Come Ye Thankful People Come. But before we do that, and before we sing along with our adult singers, the Vicar's Choral from the Cathedral Choir, let's just warm up our voices. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Well done. Relax your shoulders. Make the back of the neck a little bit longer. Relax your face. Give us a wave. That's it. And we're ready. First, can we count to five? One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Your turn. Go. Quick breath, next one. Another one. Well done, and one more warm up. If you haven't seen music before, music is read from left to right and from the top of the page down to the bottom, just like you'd read a book. And we have five lines. If a note is higher on the five lines, guess what? It's a higher note. If it's lower on the five lines, guess what? It's a lower note. Have a look at the first couple of bars. We have this rhythm. Can you clap that with me now? When you see a dot after a note, it makes it a little bit longer. That's known as a dotted rhythm. Here's what the tune sounds like, the first part of it, and then we're going to play a game. The first note is start. If the second note goes up, you will sing up. If the following note goes down, you will sing down. If it's the same note, you'll sing same. So I'll give you an example where the first line goes like this. Start, same, up, down, down, up, up. Now, you may need to wind back and have another go at this another time. But let's see if we can do it. Here's what the tune sounds like. Here the tune repeats. Then it changes.
well done. Next, have a read of the first verse. Here it is. And now we're ready to sing with Abacus Choral. So sit up nicely, smile and have fun.